Now today's topic is a real eye opener. I'm going to talk about seven very weird facts that you'll notice the moment you quit dairy. Yes, you heard it right. And the best part is that I've experienced it myself. So what I'm going to share with you is no hype, just straight up insights and scientific facts. And if you ever wonder like what happens when you cut off dairy and milk out of a diet, well, you're in for a surprise. In fact, as a kid, I always thought that milk and dairy products are the best source to get your nutrients. And many a times I also thought it's the only source where you can get calcium and protein. And I never ever thought of breaking up with dairy or even hesitated because cheese is life. And I completely get it. And here's what happened when I quit milk and dairy completely. And these are not just my discoveries, but they're also backed by science. So grab your favorite snack and let's get rolling. One of the things that will happen is that your bones will get stronger. Wait, what? So you've always been told that milk makes your bones strong, right? Well, plot twist. Well, dairy does contain calcium, but there's a study in the British Medical Journal that suggests that dairy intake may not be the bone building superhero we thought it always was. And most of us don't know this, but milk leaches calcium from your bones. It's very simple. Animal protein is generally very acidic. So to balance the acid, your body uses calcium from the bones to balance that blood pH level. So even though it has a lot of calcium, it doesn't mean that your body gets all of it. And in a way, it's also common sense. For example, cow's milk is made for its calf or cow babies to make them grow into bigger cows. Like human breast milk is made for humans. And no other mammal needs milk or drinks milk of another mammal. Because nutrients in the milk are so specifically designed by nature for their own kind. So it's as simple as that. And if you're worried about calcium, well, you shouldn't because there are many plant alternatives to it that absorb nutrients even better. There are leafy greens, plant milk, and even seeds. And sesame seeds, for example, has 10 times more calcium than what a glass of cow's milk has. They also have a lot of other nutrients which cow's milk doesn't have. And these nutrients are absorbed so much better by your body. And you'll also notice your bones getting stronger. Now, this is something that will get better and it is your digestion. So if you have like a bloated stomach, then just say goodbye to it. I remember feeling a bit bloated every time I had any kind of dairy product like cheese or maybe milk. And I never really knew that it was a cause of it or it would be the cause and the moment i quit dairy i had digestive freedom and no more stomach cramps and i didn't even have bloating now dairy can be a bit tough on digestion for some people because it contains something called as lactose which is a sugar that not everyone's digestive system can break down easily and now if your body doesn't produce lactase the enzyme that's needed to digest lactose you might experience bloating gas and even discomfort studies including research in the nutrients journal suggest that some individuals experience less bloating and discomfort after cutting out or reducing dairy. It's like giving your digestive tract a breather from a task that it finds very challenging or even very difficult. And the moment you cut down on dairy, it makes things more smoother digestive-wise and more comfortable for your digestive process. So say goodbye to discomfort and hello to a very comfortable stomach. Now this is something going to be very unexpected but it helps you clear your sinuses. You know that feeling where your nose is really stuffy and you're just waiting to get that little moment of relief? Well it turns out that giving up on dairy will actually help you with that. Because dairy contains proteins that for some folks trigger an increase in mucus production. And imagine these proteins as messengers to the body trying to tell the body to make more mucus or increase its production. More mucus means more congestion and well, that's not really fun. In fact, in a study from the Journal of Clinical Immunology, researchers found that reducing or eliminating dairy from your diet could lead to a decrease in mucus production. It's like turning off the tap because the water flow is too much, helping to clear up those nasal passages. So if you constantly felt that you're battling that nasal congestion, giving up dairy could be a game changer and it's worked for me as well. Now it's not a one size fits all solution, but it's definitely something that you should consider. Especially if you're looking for lesser congestion and to breathe more freely. Now number four is it causes less inflammation. Now dairy contains certain proteins that for some people can trigger an inflammatory response. Now think of this that your body has a whole defense system, kind of like an army. And when these proteins get into your body, your body looks at it as invaders. So it gears up and it launches an attack and that is what leads to inflammation. Now inflammation is a very natural process. It's your body's way of fighting off what it sees as a threat. But when it happens too often, especially for people who are very sensitive to dairy proteins, it can lead to something called as chronic inflammation. It's pretty much like a fire in your body. So when you start to cut back on dairy, it's like putting less fuel on the fire. And if you quit dairy altogether, your joints will thank you for it. 
because there is a study that I found in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, which in simple terms, the study suggests that less dairy might even lower levels of inflammation. And less inflammation means happier joints. It's like giving your body much less unnecessary stress. So if you ever felt that your joints are protesting, then well, just cut back dairy and you will see them have much better and smoother movements. Again, it's not a magic fix, but it's worth considering if you have those creaky joints. But number five, and most of you will notice this, which is potential weight loss. How can something like quitting dairy give you weight loss? And the main reason why quitting dairy will help you with weight loss is due to the calories. Now, dairy can be a bit sneaky when it comes to calories. Some studies like the one in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition suggest that people might experience weight loss after cutting down on dairy. But why? Because dairy is calorie dense and it's pretty much like an entire shop of calories. So when you cut back on dairy, you're basically reducing the total amount of calories that you're consuming. And many a times we don't even realize how much we consume. So even though the whole concept of wine and cheese might also feel very fancy, we don't realize how much of the cheese we are consuming and that adds to a lot of calories. So cutting down dairy is like reducing your calorie intake. And you might notice you losing those few kilos because your body is now not holding that excess baggage. Now who doesn't want a very healthy and glowing complexion? Well, it turns out that if you quit or you completely remove dairy out of your whole diet, you will start seeing a much clearer skin. There was a time where I had horrible skin and quitting dairy played a part in getting rid of those acne and pimples that I usually used to get. Because dairy is also linked with skin issues like acne. Now, I'm not saying it's the sole culprit, but there is a study that shows in the Journal of Academy of Nutrition and Dietics that there is a connection between dairy consumption and acne. Dairy can contain hormones that mess with your own hormonal balance. And that can lead to breakouts. It's like an internal Indian drama serial that shows up on your skin. Many of us think that because we're not having a skincare routine, that's why it's showing up on our skin. But you have to understand that the skin is the largest organ in your body and most of the problems that your skin shows, it's the problems that's happening internally. And it's very simple, by just cutting out dairy, you're going to simplify things for your skin. And the lesser hormonal interference, which means that you will have lesser unwanted visitors and those pesky pimples. Number seven is lesser allergies. Now, dairy contains protein that for some people can trigger an immune response. This isn't bad in itself, but it's a body's way of protecting you. And for those who are very sensitive to dairy, this immune response can sometimes cause allergy symptoms. In fact, there's a study in the clinical and experimental allergy and they have explored the link between dairy and allergies. They have suggested that reducing the dairy intake could lead to a potential reduction in allergy symptoms. It's like calming down the major allergy orchestra that's playing in your immune system. And if you're someone who has allergy very often, then try to cut down dairy. Maybe it will be one of your triggers and if you make that switch you'll notice the changes in allergy symptoms so these are the seven weird things that you notice after quitting dairy and in the end you don't really need those dairy products because in the end as much as they are a part and parcel of our culture they are also quite problematic to the body and just for those one or two nutrients you are ingesting hundreds of other things that are not required by our body and in case you have bloating or inflammation or even if you're suffering from acne Try to cut down dairy and let me know what your results are. And if you like what you saw, try to check out any of these videos. And until we meet again next, don't stress and be awesome. Rock that.